the father of Dallas Mavericks and, of course, Slovenian legend Luka Doncic, Sasha Doncic. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. When did you first see young Luka and thought, he's going to be a special player? You know, you, you have uh, kids who know how to dribble ball and you see if this is, you know, natural born talent or he learned that. So I saw that Luka, how he's handled the ball. Uh, it was really natural. Nobody teach him about that when he was, I don't know, three, four, five years yeah. old. And I said, maybe, maybe something can happen for here. When he started practicing, then basketball, uh, first coach, he said after, I don't know, one minute, please <laughs> go with the other guy. So in that time, you can see that potential. When he was 12, on one tournament in Italy, he made 54 points. I mean, it's... <laughs> It's hard to shoot. Yeah. So many balls don't yeah. make it. Uh, just yeah. 54. So if you make on one game 54 four points, that means really something. There was a lot of hype already building about him. When people are saying this is a Euro League star, he's going to be good. That's a lot of pressure to live up to. A lot of people, uh, especially in Europe, they say, you know, uh, the NBA is too strong for him. He will never make it. But obviously. Uh, this is the things what uh, fire him up and he said, oh, I will show you every, to everybody that this is not true. And yeah. I think that he showed it. Nikola Jokic, the two-time MVP. Luka may win MVP this season. Countries have rivalries, Slovenia, yeah. Croatia and Serbia. But when there's a player representing this area, does that form a, a more galvanizing sense of pride for the whole area? I, I think the sport, basketball doesn't matter, is the things which connect people. Yes. You know? and. Uh, everybody who succeeds from this part of the world, everybody is so proud to be in this. Is, I agree with you. This is also my opinion. I'm happy because of that, because I know now Nikola Jokic or Luka or I know Bogdanovic, when they come to Serbia, Croatia, Slovenia, where, wherever, they, they look them as, as a star and they respect that. And this is one good thing, what is good with mm -hmm. these uh, athletes. What do you remember about Drajan Petrovic, where he came from, Shibanik, and then he went to yeah. the Portland Trailblazers and you just... I mean, Drajan was... This, that was different time, you know. Drajan was uh, the best player in Europe. He also made 50, 60 points. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was really, really great player. But uh, what, is, what was really interesting when he came to United States, if I remember, with Portland Trailblazers, yes, and... But first two years, he didn't play nothing. Uh, uh, who was there? Drexler was uh, yeah, on Clyde his position. Clyde, Clyde yeah, Drexler. Um, he was one of the best. Yeah. Uh, no one. Of, he was the best player in Europe. But when he came to NBA, two, he needs two or three years to start to play. But, yeah. but when he started to play, he played great also in NBA. What makes this area produce such incredibly talented basketball players? We cannot talk only about basketball. Mm. We have also... A uh, great uh, handball player, water polo player, uh, football player. We have a great uh, tennis player. We have a great athletes, which is in winter sports. So uh, this part of area is really a sport area. Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. Maybe, you know, this is historically uh, watching. It was never so easy life to, to have, I don't know. And so you need to, if you want to be... If you want to live good life, you need to fight. Right. That was from the beginning. So from, maybe this is the reason that we are never surrendering. We want always more, and we never uh, admit to nobody that he's better. So, yeah. show me if you are better. Come and Prove it. compete with me. One very important milestone in any father-son relationship is when the son defeats the father at basketball. <laughs> Do you remember how old Luca was when he first uh, <laughs> defeated Dad? No, I, it never happens. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I mean, uh, I think every father is uh, proud when yeah. his son defeated. Yeah. So, I mean, Luca was really very soon he defeated me, but I cannot agree. That. I mean, I, I cannot admit that. You oh, know. Right. Okay. So you don't you don't want to say yeah. specifically when it was. No, no, no. I I, I mean. When, when one time when he came from uh, Real Madrid, he become almost stronger, you know. Yeah. And if I beat him before, I beat him because I was stronger. Yeah. Then I didn't have any chance. Good luck for the rest of the season. Good luck to Luca. I hope he can uh, continue to ascend the way he is in Dallas and maybe bring a championship and have the uh, Larry O'Brien Trophy around the streets of Slovenia. How do you think that would look? Oh, I think this would be spectacular for. Yeah. I mean, especially because. I would like that also because of Luca at the Dallas Mavericks, but 
I also think that he gives a lot of uh, happiness to Slovenian fans and I know so many people call me, <coughs> pardon, call me out oh, why we didn't sleep tonight because we watched the game. And I, I mean, you know, Slovenia is also, uh, how should I say, uh, uh, give support to Luka. Right, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. And Mark Cuban will be paying for all the champagne if that happens as well. So. I hope, I hope that, <laughs> I hope, I really hope that he will.